what honey is. This stuff, right? But how exactly is it made? Bees swallow nectar into their stomachs, then throw it up, vomit, puke, regurgitate, whatever you want to call it. Add enzymes to it by spitting, chewing, swallowing it, and then repeating that 50 times. Hey, Bumble Bar. But why do bees make honey in the first place? Bees use your honey as hive insulation, food for themselves and their babies. Yes, sometimes bees make more than they can eat, but do the beekeepers only take the extra? No. According to James E. Two, an extension specialist in apiculture at The Ohio State University, commercial beekeepers frequently extract, steal all of fall season's honey and then feed colonies either sugar syrup or corn syrup. And they all steal most of the spring season honey as well. The nutrients and minerals found in honey don't do much for us, but they are vital for the bees. So replacing it with sugar water is kind of like replacing our running shoes with flip flops. They'll work, but not so good for you. In fact, it's one of the theories behind why bees are dying in great numbers. So is honey vegan? No. Last time I checked, a bee was not a vegetable. Bees are animals. Honeybees are in the phylum Anthropoda, the same as crabs and lobsters. Bees are actually one of the most sophisticated in the animal kingdom, and countless studies have been done showing that bees are incredibly intelligent. Bees use vector calculus and physics. After finding a food source, forager bees return to the hive and perform a dance for the other bees, which gives them all the information they need to go to the food source. Not only does the dance convey the direction of the food source, but also the distance to it. Every four minutes, the sun moves four degrees to the west, and bees actually account for this in their dance. But either way, smart or not, if it was okay to hurt someone or eat someone because they were dumb, a lot of humans would be in trouble. Did you know to make just one pound of honey, bees visit two million flowers and have to fly 55,000 miles? That's further than going around the whole world twice. Bees are incredible. And then we take it away from them to put in our Cheerios? And then replace it with sugar water? Seriously? I mean, we can't talk to bees and ask them if they feel pain or not, but many studies have been done proving it. And I mean, even if studies hadn't been done, why would you take that chance? You see, just like the meat and dairy industries, the beekeepers have their own national honey board designed to promote honey using a $3 million budget. It's a profit-driven business. Nobody cares about the treatment of the bees as long as they're making them money. Commercial beekeepers replace their queen bees every year. And replace is just a fancy word for killing the old bee, which in nature lives up to five years, by the way. So beekeepers order queen bees, yeah, like in the mail, which can't be fun for the bee. And when they arrive, they have their wings clipped so they can't fly away. And a lot of beekeepers kill off their hives before the winter, which consists anywhere between 20 to 80,000 bees, simply because it's cheaper than housing them during the cold months. So the life and death of entire colonies are purely decided on economic gain. Let's talk about the birds and the bees, or should I say the humans? and the bees, and how the bees get knocked out with carbon dioxide and knocked up with semen. First, the head of the drone is crushed. This causes the abdominal muscles to contract and turn part of the drone inside out, and that semen is used to artificially inseminate the queen. I like to call it as it is, and unless they got her consent, that would be considered rape. But isn't honey better for us than sugar? There's virtually no difference between honey and other sweeteners. And because the bee population is so low, producers are often cutting their honey with things like high fructose corn syrup. It is virtually impossible to tell pure honey from this adulterated honey. While honey does contain several good sugars, it also has protective acids that are the honey's preservatives. And humans don't have enzymes to break those acids down. A lot of humans think that they are the best and superior to everyone and everything. Do you know what happened to our world if all the humans went extinct? No, no. Except the world would regenerate itself, every other living thing would benefit, and the world would thrive. But without bees? If every bee were to drop dead tomorrow, it would be detrimental to agriculture, plant life, and food sources around the world. In fact, some food sources will completely vanish. And unfortunately, bees are dying in large numbers all around the world. And there are several theories as to why they are dying, and all of them include humans. So not only is honey not an essential nutrient, necessary or healthy, but there are many alternatives. So a lot of vegans tend to forget about the bees, so please help me share this video around. And if you enjoy our content, you can now help support us on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to make your day wonderful, and I'll see you again soon. And we wonder why the US has an obesity epidemic. Cows naturally produce codeine, morphine, and other opiates, aka drugs. 